these titles were ahead of the curve. You ratted us out, didn't you? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video games that were before their time. Yes, get moving. For this list, we're looking at games that dared to try something new, but either didn't catch on with the gaming crowd right away, or were hindered by the technology of the time. If you're looking for games that did become trendsetters and revolutionized the industry, be sure to check out our list on the top 10 revolutionary video games. Number 10, Pokemon Snap. This on-rails, first-person photography game for the N64 would have benefited from social media. Think about it. Its gameplay required you to take photographs of Pokemon, with extra points given if you caught them in special poses, like a surfing Pikachu. Naturally, you'd want to send your shots to your buddies. But to do that, you had to bring your gaming cartridge to a certain blockbuster store in your area for printing. You can even bring your snap cartridge to a participating blockbuster video and print out stickers of your favorites. Doesn't look like they're coming out today. Hard luck. The 2007 Virtual Console re-release did feature the ability to save your photos to an SD card. But that's still not very practical, especially if your game data was also on that card. Wow. Number 9, Shen Mue. I ain't afraid of him. I can take this geek! AAA titles have come to rule the gaming landscape, and this open-world action-adventure game for the Dreamcast arguably had the first AAA budget, costing $47 million to make. I... Uh... You seem troubled. I am. This wouldn't have been so bad if it hadn't completely bombed at the retail, seeing as there was very little market for it on the doomed Sega console. I wish time would just stand still. This is a bit of a shame, since it was one of the earliest games where you could interact with nearly everything in the world and featured real-time weather effects, a feature that was unheard of at the time. <laughs> Number 8. Winback – Covert Operations Known as Operation Winback in Europe, the cover system in Gears of War was cool, but we can't imagine Cliffy B designing it without the influence of this third-person shooter for the N64, and later PS2. It was the first title of its genre to feature such a system as a core mechanic, anticipating it by a few years. Your pistol also came with a sweet laser sight for aiming, a mechanic later seen in games like Metal Gear Solid 2 and Resident Evil 4. Number 7, Deus Ex. The FPS was a fairly linear genre up until this game, which reinvented it with some use of non-linear missions. It also wasn't afraid to mix genres, as it introduced some pretty restrictive RPG elements as well. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. Most importantly though, aspects of the story could change based on your conversations and how violent you were, predating the multiple narratives later used by developers like Telltale in their Walking Dead series, among others. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. Even with all the advancements in the genre to date, few games can match the amount of variables and possible outcomes that the game has anticipated and planned for. I thought you nanowogs were supposed to be badass killing machines. Guess I was wrong. Guess so. Number 6, Metal Gear. Despite kicking off one of the most storied franchises in gaming history and being an early entry in the stealth genre, the game was let down by the hardware of the time. It was originally for the MSX2, and the computer's weak hardware limited how many bullets and enemies would be on screen, preventing mastermind Hideo Kojima from making the action game he had always envisioned. Not only could the titular Metal Gear not even move during the final fight, but the dialogue had to be severely abridged to make up for the lack of memory. Kojima would eventually get the chance to add a lot of dialogue in his later games, though. Number 5. Star Siege Tribes Although this title initiated a legendary series of squad-based FPS PC games, we can't help but wish that it'd come a little bit later. Return our flag to our base! You idiot! It featured online-only gameplay at a time when gamers were confined by 56k modems, 
making for substantial lag. Not to mention, in 1998, the concept of an online-only game was pretty ambitious, as many gamers were still apprehensive of online play. In spite of this limitation, the game became a pioneer of vehicle-based and class-based combat. Plus, that skiing mechanic just can't be beat. Hurry up with that oh, crap! Number 4. Fantasy Star Online Yet another title whose online features were also hindered by the 56k modem era. This MMORPG was arguably more influential, since it allowed cooperative gameplay on the Dreamcast at a time when online interaction on console was mostly limited to competitive modes. There were MMOs out already for PC, but this was on a console, remember. Sega announced that it would, within the year, create a new world. It innovated even further by allowing you to find people to cooperate with through its lobby system, and letting you trade guild cards with them which let you email them whenever you went online. Fantasy Star Online. The gaming revolution comes in the year 2000. Number 3. Hunter. Grand Theft Auto was crucial in gaming history for its open-world, mission-based gameplay, but it and its precursor, Body Harvest, were technically already aping this action-adventure game for the Amiga. It had 3D graphics and was sandbox style, like GTA, and the combination of these features makes it strikingly modern by today's standards, particularly since it came out at a time when 2D games were still the norm. Also like GTA, you could choose how you got around, be it by jeep, boat, or helicopter. Most impressive of all, this game was put together by a single guy named Paul Holmes not too shabby compared to the huge development teams needed for today's AAA productions. Number 2. Jurassic Park – Trespasser Technology available when this FPS game was released wasn't quite prehistoric, but it did limit it from reaching its full potential. Its engine was the first to use ragdoll physics, and its dinosaurs had movement algorithms, allowing their animations to be calculated in real time. 13. Unfortunately, many computers of the time weren't powerful enough to faithfully render the game. To make matters worse, EA rushed the game onto store shelves to coincide with the VHS release of The Lost World Jurassic Park, forcing a lot of features to be cut and not leaving enough time to iron out many of the colossal bugs. Before we get to our number one pick, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Number 1. Elite Topping off our list is a space simulator for various home computers which wasn't quite as futuristic as its sci-fi setting, but it certainly came close. The open-ended gameplay of its eight procedurally generated galaxies paved the way for space combat games and sandbox-style adventures alike. Its 3D graphics, with their hidden line removal, were revolutionary for the time. Remember, this was 1984 we're talking about. Return of the Jedi had come out only one year earlier. On top of that, one feature that everyone remembers was that to travel between stars, you had to use a hyperspace jump. And the title felt like a hyperspace jump for gaming. Do you agree with our list? How unprofessional. What game do you think came too soon for its own good? For more revolutionary top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I have your word. Yeah. You know what I'll do if you don't show.